Hello and welcome back everybody. Happy holiday season. Today we'll be teaching you how to make old-fashioned cinnamon ornaments. It's a no-bake recipe, very easy. Let's gather up all the items we'll need for this recipe. You'll need cinnamon, applesauce, white glue, ground nutmeg, or cloves. We also use these nifty cookie cutters to make our shapes. So let's begin by putting our teaspoon of ground nutmeg or cloves in the bowl, a cup of ground cinnamon. Next we'll add three quarters cup applesauce. Next is two tablespoons of white glue. It takes a second to get in there, but it's worth it. It's gonna hold these together and create a little bit of a shine. Though these ornaments are Tasty looking and smell awesome. They are not edible. Please don't eat these. Okay, to be clear, the recipe here calls for one cup ground cinnamon, three quarters cup applesauce, two tablespoons white glue, one tablespoon ground nutmeg or cloves. When you get all the ingredients together, you're simply going to combine them all at the same time in one bowl. Mix everything very well. Make sure everything's incorporated fully. At the end of the mixing period, you will have this beautiful cinnamon dough ball. We'll dust a little cinnamon on our rolling surface so nothing sticks. And we'll plop the dough ball right on there. We'll start to flatten it out to about a quarter inch height. Here we go. Look at that dough, it came out awesome. So it's gonna be kind of sticky once you put it on your rolling surface, but that's what the cinnamon is for. You can keep dusting cinnamon on there. Use it like flour if you are baking. It'll make everything smell that much better. When you've got a dough ball formed, take out a rolling pin, or I'm using one that's actually for clay. That's why it's smaller but I don't see why you couldn't use a regular rolling pin here to flatten your dough to about a quarter inch height. And so now we are going to take out our cookie cutters. You can use any shape you want. I've got a fleur de lis here because it's a very popular shape where I'm at, but you can use hexagons, circles, squares, diamonds, gingerbread men, anything you like. Any cookie cutter will do. When you've cut out the shapes that you want, carefully remove the dough from outside of those shapes. I use things like a chopstick or a spatula to help me do this. You can see how a simple chopstick helps me to remove the dough cleanly and quickly. When I remove the dough from outside of the forms that I've cut, I'm putting a ball of dough on the side of my rolling area. And there's a reason for that. I'm gonna ball up the dough and do this process over again. Here's another little example of something I use to remove the dough from outside of the smaller shapes. I've got some clay tools that you can see help a lot in this process. This part of the process takes a little bit of patience, so be kind to yourself if you, as you are messing with this dough. It's sticky, it's cumbersome sometimes, but this will be worth it. Now we need to cut a hole in the top of our ornaments, and we'll do that using a flexible plastic straw. You can see I'm kind of twisting the straw around as I make the hole that helps to put the dough in the straw, so when you lift it, then you're left with an empty hole. These ornaments come out beautifully. They take between two and three days to dry. This is a no-bake recipe, so you just let them air dry. I kept flipping mine over to make sure they were dry over those days. You can see I'm decorating these ornaments now with a simple glitter glue that comes in a bunch of different colors that I got from the Dollar Tree. 
That just takes a couple of minutes to dry and you're left with beautiful ornaments. After my ornaments have completed drying, I cut a little length of ribbon for each one, between 6 and 10 inches, depending on how long you want the ornament length to be. And I fed the ribbon through the hole in the top using tweezers. I love making these DIY cinnamon ornaments. They're so beautiful, they'll be fragrant for years to come, and this project is perfect for kids and adults alike. Happy holidays and thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week at Free Arts Academy. Please visit our website, freeartsacademy.com.